Hello guys, welcome to my channel and in this video I'll be showing you how to use Maya's Vertex Transfer tool. Uh, this tool is basically transferring vertex order from one object to the other and for this to work you need to have the same number of vertex in each object. I have an example here. So we have a plane that's regular plane and a plane that's bent. So when we try to, to make this uh, plane, regular plane, into this bent version, we just have to click the source and target, deform, and make a blend shape for that. And we try to select the plane, blend shape, and transform it. It works because this, the vertex order from this plane is identical to this guy. So basically it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The vertices are these guys here. So this is one, this is one as well, two and two as well, so on and so forth. So let's just say, for example, you accidentally remove the edge by deleting an edge, right? And then I'm trying to fix it by you using multi-cut tool, like that. So right now they have the same verts, edges, and faces, same as this guy. And you're thinking that it should work and you try to make a blend shape. You click this guy and this guy to form a blend shape thinking ah it should work right but when you try to do a blend shape for this it won't work because the vertex order are different because you remove the vertices that's what is in here so if you say this was one two and three one two and three this could be 25 or this could be 30 and this would be 35 same goes but this guy should be the same so one two three four because we didn't change this right to fix that, um, we just need to click the source and target, the mesh, and then transfer vertex order tool. So for this, we just need to select vertices that are adjacent to each other. So if you click this, it should show accepting vertex. So that's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Same thing as this guy. So we just want it to have the same placement of the vertex. This guy. So right now it says destination mesh has history. So to fix that, we just need to remove the history by Alt Shift D. There you go. And then let's do it again. Source, target, mesh, and for transfer vertex order. Click this, this and this. Same goes with this guy, this, this and this. So now you're telling that this, this can be like one, two and three. This can be like one, two and three, or basically you're telling if this is 1, this is 24, and this is 25, you're saying this should be 1, this should be 24, and this should be 25. So that it's going to copy the vertex order from this to this. It's like basically giving an idea of what the order of the vertex you want it to be for. This is the source, the target. So when we try to do a blend shape again, click, click, form, blend shape. This guy should work because we transferred the vertex order from this to this. I have another example here, a uh, much more bigger uh, mesh. So we have here an open eyes and neutral eyes. So we click this one, eye, uh, one deformation, this mesh, this mesh, deform, blend shape. This should work, this should open the eyes. See, let's go to show and then selection. Because these guys are basically identical, they have both the same um, vertex order. It's just like we move some meshes from here, it's like so that it would give us like an open eyes. And let's just say, for example, you messed up this mesh. Right? For example, this is like you messed up the blend shape mesh. Delete that one. Delete the vertex. Right? Remove the history fix it using multi cut again. So now we have the same number of verts, 12972, 12972. Try to do a blend shape. The results should be different because, as I said, the vertex order are not the same now because we deleted edges resulting to removing those previous vertex we have. So to fix that, I would basically just move this back to zero because we want it to be on the same position and just scooch it a little bit and turn on our wireframe. And 
we need to make sure that both objects doesn't have any history. So we just have to Alt Shift D. There you go. And then we select the, um, the source and the target because this is what we changed. We want to copy the vertex order of this to this. We don't want to copy this because we don't want to. Uh, what if you have a rake or what if you have um, some some blend shape happening? And you don't want to mess the vertex order of this because this vertex order of this is different now because we deleted the edges. So we select this guy, the source, and the target, mesh, transfer vertex order. Just have to select the adjacent vertices, source first, one, two, three. This guy as well, one, two, three. It'll give us a process. Take a while. And now, this should give us the same result of what we have earlier. Open eyes. I'll just hide this. Turn off the wireframe. Yeah. Now it works. But I hope you guys learned something. Um, feel free to leave a comment if you guys have any questions. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.